Hello everyone and welcome to my OpenTDD tutorial slash let's play. In the last episode we've built a sideline to the north and there are rains going on that which is awesome. And in this episode I'm gonna show you uh, like a station type which will seem very complicated at first but hopefully we will make it clear and you will be able to use that and it's my like one of the favorite station types uh, for that I'm gonna I'm gonna build a station here probably wow this one has a 300 production so let's do it here <coughs> I'm gonna build more tracks than it's necessary just to show the concept uh, it kind of sucks that we have a leveled terrain here uh, I mean unleveled but, well, let's see what we can do. So, what we're gonna do is make straight rails. We will delete some of them later. Uh, connecting to each of the platforms. And then we're gonna, uh, then we're gonna make a cross here. And what we're gonna do now, uh, just to make it a bit clear, is create the rails like what we really need to connect here. Right, uh, let's connect it like so. And what we want to do now is uh, to make sure that every of the platform is connected to one of these rails, to each of these rails. So as we have a crossing here, uh, the easy part right now is that uh, all we need to do is just like connect it. <laughs> Uh, what we're gonna do is make a bridge here, or not? Uh, let's first connect uh, this this cr other crossing to that rail, so we can do this easily, right? I mean, this is done. Oh. Uh, this is connected, so always imagine as if uh, if you were a drain or <laughs> well, that's. That sounds pretty bad, but uh, always imagine uh, like which way the trains are gonna go. Uh, they are gonna come in on this rail, and I uh, let's go uh, go on this rail to the station, and then they are gonna come out on this rail and connect that. So that works flawlessly. It 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 works on the other platform as well. But what we're gonna do now is create a bridge here, like over over this connection point. And right now we can just connect the bridge to the incoming rail and let's connect the other rail to the, you know, to the other crossing. And I think we're done here. Uh, hopefully this was, well, not, I mean, I can show you, I can build it here again, uh, but I mean, it's not really that complicated. The problem is when you are building more tracks, which I can show you. Uh, however, we are gonna build a pre uh, buff signal here as well. So, control click the these two uh, signals right before the crossing four times. It will make the buff signal. Uh, I will just get some tracks rolling here. All right. So that's Tim Electric and. Central station, right go. I think we will need at least six trains for this. Uh, it's really hard to uh, guess the correct number of trains. Well, we didn't connect this. <laughs> it, I got lost in talking, so let's do that. Uh, we're gonna build a bridge over this rail. Uh, we're gonna connect this rail straight. So we've built a bridge here, uh, the trains will be coming from central station on this trail and to the station, which should work. Uh, they are gonna, the trains are gonna leave the station here, so let's do that. Uh, there's also one, one trick we can do later, uh, yeah, let's do that later when there are no uh, trains in the, in the station. Uh, yeah, we are gonna make, uh, we're gonna connect the a rail with the bridge to the other side. 
And in the last episode I've built a weird pre signal thing here, so let's do that again. Uh, what we're gonna do is select the end ray signal, uh, build it like so. Then we're gonna select the combo signal and build it or just or, uh, be, uh, in front of the junction. And then we're gonna select the exit signal and build it here. Uh, as I said earlier, what this does is when a train's traveling here, uh, if it gets into like this signal, like between the, this area, this will show red. So if there was a train going here at full speed, any single train coming here would have to stop and give priority to the other one. Uh, what we can do here, however, is... Uh, I mean, this is kind of fine, but the problem with this is that the trains will choose whether they want to go uh, on the... like to the left crossing or to the right one. Uh, we can make them go into any single crossing that has a free platform by putting a path signal here. So let's do that right now. Uh, we can also just create normal sig signal and click it four times. And uh, what we want to do now is delete all of the signals behind the path signal. So means all of these signals. And all the trains, uh, I mean if the platform... Uh, let's create one more train uh, to show how it works. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> Right, we created a train, and right now if there isn't any platform free, uh, the train will uh, wait at this signal, and then it will go into the platform that uh, will have a train leaving. As soon as it gets past this signal. Yeah, you can see the train got green, and it's going to the, to the right track. So, uh, I'm gonna build like this station here again, uh, just to, in fact, we can, we can connect something uh, to the rail, just, you know, so we can make some use of that as well. Uh, Alright, uh, I'm gonna build the, I mean, this type of station is very, useful when you don't have space to make a railroad station. Like if you don't have space on this side uh, for whatever reason, if you don't have space on this side of the station, then you can just build it like so. Uh, I mean, it, it needs more space to the other side, but then again, if there's for example a city in the way here, you can just make like six style station here. Uh, I can show you how to make a si six platform uh, this type of station so let's do that uh, we're gonna select the number of tracks six I'm just looking yeah this looks good I just want some level tra uh, train so uh, terrain so we don't have to deal with you know all these shenanigans right so uh, <coughs> what I usually do is just create two rails like so uh, I mean, yeah, this is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the incoming rail, and this is gonna be the outgoing. Outgoing. Uh, the outgoing means for me to the central station. I'm gonna build crosses here everywhere, or you know, uh, there's like no. Ne it's possible to make it like s that. Uh, there are just let's say single rails, if, I, it's th if that's the correct term. However, it's kind of complicated and I don't really want to get into that for the purpose of this tutorial. So what we're gonna do now, uh, I deleted, let's make signals here just so it's more clear. Uh, Alright, I always build the crossings first and then what we want to do is connect each of the crossing to this incoming rail. So. Uh, I think doing it like so should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. Uh, we can also delete the signals here and just put a pre signal, uh, buff signal here. And right now we, right, so that's one like direction sorted out. Uh, all of the trains that are coming from the central station on this track, I mean 
hypothetically, uh, will get into each each one of these platforms because of the crossings. So that's six platforms connected. And now we, what we want to do is do the same thing for the outgoing tracks. So it's kind of easy on the outer one. We can just you know do it like so. Uh, however, we will have to build bridges over this. I usually make like two tiles uh, straight track there. So when you connect it like so, when you connect it like so, there there's always uh, room for signal as well. And then we just want to put signals everywhere on the outgoing tracks. Uh, we don't need to put them on the incoming tracks from the central station because there's a deep path signal and that like deals with the whole situation. So that's awesome. Uh, here's the here's the station completed. It's not really that hard if you are like playing for a longer period or well you will get used to it. Uh, you can just copy uh, copy the design. I mean I didn't invent it so there's no credit. <laughs> Uh, by the way, it's called. Uh, it's, you can find it on the Open TTD wiki. There's like, a, well, I, well, there's the junctionary, which is which is like dictionary for junctions, and there's also uh, like uh, guides to build stations. But usually, uh, I mean by building this type of station and this type of stations, like, you should be fine and this type as well. It, it should work. Alright. So, uh, let's connect some trains. Or factories or something. Uh, there are two coal mines, so let's connect that. I mean, it's pretty good production as well. So we're gonna level this small hill here. Then we're gonna make like four tracks should be enough. In fact, I can build the same thing here. Uh, it will be very useful uh, in this spot. So again, I'm gonna make crossings first. So now I'm gonna connect the incoming rail. So that means building here, or we can even we can do it like so. Uh, we're gonna put a path signal here, so that means uh, building a block signal and clicking it four times with control pressed. And that's one, let's say, like side of the rail taken care of. I'm gonna have to lower the train here as well to build a bridge over this rail. And then we are just gonna connect the most outside rail to the outgoing track. Like so. And we finished. Right now we're gonna connect it uh, to the sideline. Uh, so that means lowering the terrain here. Uh, I don't really wanna. I guess this is okay. Uh, we're gonna do the press signal thing here as well. So uh, if you have a junction like this, just. Uh, click these signals so they are two-way then we are gonna control click this signal once on the uh, on the well station rail or the rail leading to the station we're gonna click this control uh, we're gonna control cl control click this twice and we're gonna control control click this three times so the press signals are set like this and then we're gonna connect it that the trains can come back from the central station. So that means building it like so. And we're fine. Right? Next train. Uh, I think six trains for this. Maybe even more. I mean, we will need to build more of the trains here. Uh, this is comparable production, so I think that uh, we have 8 trains on that track, so I think 7 trains... or well, maybe 6, because it's a bit closer. Oh, we 
don't really want to go to Central Station first. We want to get to Coal Mine, then the Central Station, full load, and 6 range should be enough, so let's do that. And... Da -da -da -da. Let's see if we can build a factory here. Fund new industry and fund. I really want to put it somewhere like here. Oh, it, and it works. That's awesome. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is destroy this piece of rail. So we won't have any incoming trains. Uh, then we wanna... Oh, let's see, this is... This is kind of complicated, but I think we can deal with that. Right, we are gonna we gonna destroy everything, or do we? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna create just a small like placeholder. Placeholder. Oh crap. Uh, we unfortunately we destroyed everything, so that means uh, the local authority doesn't allow the station to be built again. So we can do that by. Just, like, creating lots of trees around the city and it will erase your rating. <coughs> so, uh, there's the factory, uh, I'm thinking how we're gonna go about this. Uh, I think that six platforms should be fine. Uh, I mean, I really want so let's level this plan and I think we want at least like 12 platforms because we will have good strains uh, however complicated because there's the you know there are those factories in way so what we can do is station walk uh, station walking is forbidden on uh, most of the servers uh, it's like build, uh, connecting stations diagonally to, to gain advantage. So what we've done now is that we are able to build a station here, or even further, I think might be better in fact. Just to be sure and safe, so we don't have to rebuild that later. Uh, we're gonna build a station like so, oh crap, there's the... Uh, there's the steel mill in the way as well. Hmm, I guess we can do it here. Oh, snap. Right, I'll make the central station here. It's uh, just a place holder, a place or uh, you know, holder station. A platform length, number of tracks, six, and yeah, let's build it here. Uh. Unfortunately, I screwed up because obviously uh, I really hate those cities. Uh, I think you should be able to turn off the authorities thing, like uh, in the in the settings. Let's see if we type authorities. Yeah, permissive, tolerant, low bribing. Oh, never mind. Right, let's connect this. Mm, I think this should be enough. Yeah. So we got our central station rebuilt here. Uh, <laughs> I really am stupid. <laughs> Sorry for this. I was kind of thinking how are we gonna... No. Put everything in here. Uh, right. The problem is, if you are station walking, you want to use different station types. Like, uh, I used rail there, which is bad. Because if you want to remove a rail station and you demolish this, it will destroy everything. You have to click the... As if you want to build the station and then you're gonna press the R button. And what we're gonna do here is... Uh, I think we should put it here, the lorry station. So this way, uh, our big station here is connected to everything as you can see. It, it accepts coal, grain, livestock, steel, wood, everything. 
and hopefully there will be enough space for rails as well. So alright, I hope you like this episode. Uh, this is kind of disastrous, but in the next episode we are gonna build everything here to make it clear and awesome. Alright, I'm gonna repay the loan here and hopefully you will have a nice rest of the day and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel so you will get a notification every time I you know, upload a new video. So have a nice day.